Like, this nigga could have been a killer, a murderer, that's the same thing, a kidnapper, you know, but this nigga turned out to be a thief, a thief out of all you could have just told me i can't even call the police or anything because this nigga wasn't even supposed to be at my house hey y'all thank you so much for watching with angelic tv where we talk about everything and when i'm in everything I mean, like, y'all already know I'm coming through with another story time for y'all, but before I get into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below because y'all don't want to miss these stories. Y'all, my life is crazy a little bit, kind of, sort of, a lot of it, so I'm going to need for y'all to go ahead and subscribe and also turn on your post notifications because y'all don't want to miss when I post another video, but because YouTube is fucking up, I'm going to need for y'all to go ahead and follow me on all of my social medias because on there, I'll be giving y'all links to story times that haven't been posted yet because, you know, I got a lot of pre-recorded story times that's already on YouTube that y'all just haven't seen so if y'all want to see more before other people do I'm gonna need for y'all to go ahead and follow me on all of those above and also if you have any crazy stories that you would like to share anonymously and also if you need any advice on something that you're going through that you would like to share anonymously as well go ahead and email me at angeliquetalks at gmail.com or you can text me I'll put the the text message number and stuff like that above and one more thing before I get into this video I am doing an updated Q&A so if you want to know something that you've been curious about that you just never knew I don't care what it is I'm an open book go ahead and leave your questions below because I will be recording a Q&A towards the end of this week so go ahead and put y'all questions in the comment section all right y'all so as y'all can see by the title this story time is gonna be about the time where your girl got robbed for the D y'all know I did a video about me skipping school for the D but bitch I got robbed for the D like the fuck what type of shit is that so let me just go ahead and get into this crazy ass story okay okay y'all so i'm gonna bring y'all back to when i was 14 i was about to be a freshman in high school i want to say this was the summertime like right before i was a freshman but i'm not too sure but i'm pretty sure it was because my mom was at work and i was at home and you know my mom works during the week and i was at home during the week so it had to have been the summertime my mom's girlfriend was also living with us at this time as well so i don't know where she was she probably was either out of town or i don't fucking know but she wasn't at home and your girl was like okay i got the house to myself and you know let me just see what to do before i get into what happened a couple of weeks prior to I was messaging this guy on Facebook. I had never met him, obviously. He added me on Facebook a couple of weeks back and um, eventually slid into my DM and we began talking and then talking on Facebook turned into texting and texting turned into flirting and flirting turned into him saying when I'm gonna come through. So because I had the house to myself, I figured like, why not go ahead and use this time to let him come through, right? I didn't know this guy before he actually slid into my DMs, but I knew some of his mutual friends. I knew a guy who knew him. I'm telling y'all this because it's going to be important later down the line. Now, whenever I used to invite guys back to my mom's house back in the day, I used to like have the door unlocked. Now, I don't know why I did this because it was so, so fucking like dangerous but i used to keep the door unlocked and whenever they'd be like you know i'm i'm here or whatever i'd be like you know just come to the door the door is open now y'all that was so fucking stupid because a nigga could have been dead i did a lot of social media dating if you want to call it like i was always on social media because i never really got out the house because i was a homebody and i'm still is but on social media i used to talk to niggas okay like the reason why i had niggas was because of social media all right he opened the door i was already on the couch on my ipod touch you know that was back in the day whenever you know ipod touches were like real real popular so um he ended up opening the door and i was laying on the couch you know watching tv on my phone at the same time and he came and he was real real tall oh by the way his name is gonna be legs okay and i'm naming him legs because he was like a really really popular track star player at his high school i don't remember if he hugged me i don't remember but i just knew the nigga was tall as hell and you know we was just talking and y'all know how this shit is i'm not even gonna sit here and make this thing a whole long ass scenario because y'all know what happened basically he was flirting i was flirting back you know and it went from the living room to my room and y'all already know what it was now 
<laughs> After all of that, you know what I'm saying, went down. I noticed he was in a rush. He was like looking through his phone and kind of seemed as though he had to go somewhere. After some time, he did end up saying he had to leave and he left. After he left, I'm cleaning my evidence up and shit before my mama comes home. But I was just like, let me just get my phone and my iPod real quick. Make sure I ain't got no missed calls and missed text messages from my mom and stuff like that. So I grabbed my phone, you know, I got that. I'm good, no missed calls or nothing. Then I go to look for my iPod. I knew I left it on the couch in the living room. I didn't bring it back to the bedroom with us whenever we went back to my room. So that's the first place I looked at. So I'm looking, I don't see it on the couch. So I'm looking like in between the crevices and stuff like that. Don't see it either. So I'm like, okay, well maybe I brought it to the room or something. I don't know. Looking everywhere in my room, don't fucking find it. I'm looking everywhere at this point. I'm even looking at the trash. It's only so many places I could have taken this. I didn't go anywhere besides the living room and the room. So the fuck is going on? I'm just like, hmm, let me text legs and see if he knows anything about it um, or if he saw it so i text legs and he's like nah i haven't seen it he was like the last place i saw you with it was whenever you were laying on a couch and i was like yeah me too i looked but i couldn't find it and so i'm just digging and digging still can't fucking find it so by this time my mama then came home and i'm like okay let me just see if she's not gonna notice or whatever the case may be i don't really remember sorry it's my garage if y'all hear anything I don't really remember exactly how it came about. My mom did end up asking me about it at some point. I ended up telling her that I couldn't find it and that I thought my little cousin may have thrown it away in the trash. Yeah, girl. <laughs> That's what I told her, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, this boy have had to have taken it. Like, I, I didn't want to believe it, but after looking literally everywhere, it was like, where else? Like, come on out. It's, it's no other possibility. So maybe a couple of days or so go by. Um, or maybe even a couple of weeks. I don't really know exactly how long. The guy that I was telling you guys about that new legs that we were, you know, mutual friends with and stuff like that. I was texting him one day and he was the one who actually picked legs up. I had no idea he picked legs my husband's car. And I was telling him how I felt like he had my iPod. Like I told him straight up, like I think your homeboy stole my iPod because I could not find it after he loved. He told me he didn't know where it was, but I find it hard to fucking believe. So the guy actually ended up confessing to me. Well, I wouldn't say confess because it's not like he did it, but he confessed for legs and told me that whenever he picked him up, he was playing around with the iPod, but he thought it was his. You know damn well he didn't think that shit was his. He knew. He knew that shit was mine. And so I just cut them both off at that point because I'm like, I can't even call the police or anything because this nigga wasn't even supposed to be at my house. So I... I was, yeah, I was bummed. And you would have thought I learned my lesson by not, you know, sneaking niggas in the house after that. But I still snuck people in the house after that. Yeah, I didn't learn my lesson. Luckily, nobody ever stole from me after that. But that was fucked up because how you, you came and got what you wanted and you still stole from me. Like, I could see if I made you drive all the way there and I was like, oh, well, my period or something like that. But nigga, moral of the story is don't be out here fucking niggas, first of all. Especially at that young age. I was stupid as fuck. And again, this nigga could have been a killer, a murderer, that's the same thing, a kidnapper, you know. But this nigga turned out to be a thief. A thief. Out of all. A thief. I mean, thankfully he was a thief instead of anything else because that could have turned out really, really bad. But it's just a simple fact that, like, bruh, you didn't even have to steal from me. Like, if you wanted it or if you wanted to borrow it or anything, like, you could have just told me. And so that's that. I have a badass glare right here for my window but y'all that's that's all i have to say that shit was just fucking crazy like it was really really crazy because like why are you still for me like come on out anyways y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this story time that was something I, I totally forgot about that story i was just sitting in my bed last night and i was thinking about things that i was gonna talk about and stuff like that and i was like oh shit like a nigga stole from me like i got robbed for the d i got robbed for the d like who does that who does that obviously me <laughs> go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so like i told y'all to do in the first part of the video so if you enjoy this video go ahead and hit that like button get this video to at least 200 likes y'all if y'all get this video to at least 200 likes i'll release my next video early even if it's by the end of this day like i will legit post another video that's all i have for you guys today and i will see you in my next video Bye.